Thank you for joining us on the newsroom. I am Simisola Adigo. The Kaduna State Government has advised residents to be vigilant over the fear of possible terrorist attacks using improvised explosive devices, IEDs. Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs Samuel Arouan gave the advice in a statement issued in Kaduna on Monday. Arouan further stated that security agencies were working hard to avert such sinister plans in any part of the state. Women from Otua Sega community in Bayelsa State in the early hours of Monday have staged a peaceful protest against what they described as the incessant invasion and destruction of their farmlands by herdsmen. According to the women, farming has become difficult as they live in fear of possible attack if they resist the herdsmen from encroaching on their farmlands. The Commissioner for Women, Children Affairs, Empowerment and Social Development, Faith Opene, while appealing to the women, assured them that their complaint will be tabled before the governor for his intervention. The Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria has suspended its planned strike action to shut down the Lagos One port after the union and the international oil companies commenced implementation of engaging stiff doors and dock workers on their oil platforms. In a press statement by the union's president general and general secretary issued on Monday, the union unanimously agreed that two weeks effective from 28 February will be given to the IOCs to complete all processes to comply with the law. They added that they will commence implementation of engaging the stiff doors and dock workers on their oil platforms and report back to the authority and the union for review within the stipulated two weeks. In COVID matters, the United States White House has permitted federal agencies to drop COVID-19 rules requiring employees and visitors to wear masks in federal buildings. In the new guidance, the White House federal workforce say the mask mandate could be eliminated by federal facilities in countries with low or medium COVID-19 community levels. The White House has also given agencies until March 4 to revise the federal employee masking and testing regulations. Verification of commercial forest has been approved for all charcoal exporters in Nigeria by the federal government. In a statement signed by the spokesman of the Charcoal Association, Adeshalaidu, the verification will be done in five states, the FCT, Oyo, Ogunquara and Kogi states. The Forestry Research Institute of Nigeria has urged all charcoal exporters who wish to participate in the verification exercise to contact legal representatives of the Charcoal Export Legality and Compliance Group of Independent Companies for clarification on the verification exercise. On the global scene, Mozambique's publicly owned electricity company EDM has signed a new contract to supply power to the Kingdom of Eswatini. The contract will last for 17 months and provide for EDM to supply 20 megawatts of power which could be revised depending on the needs of the Eswatini Electricity Company. The meeting at which the agreement was signed also served to analyze future projects between the two companies, particularly the Temani Thermal Power Plant being built in southern Mozambique. In sports, Nigeria international Paul Onoachu has been named in the latest Belgian Pro League team of the week. In a post published by Football Statistics website, Onoachu has the highest rating of 9.2, thus making him the best rated player in the Belgian Pro League team of the week, ahead of gang teammate Brian Hennen, who has a rating of 8.7. The 27-year-old also tops gang's charts winning more aerial duels, completed one dribble and made four key passes. That's the latest update on the newsroom. Join us again in the next hour for more news stories.